So in the last tutorials, um, we built together the homepage of this digital agency uh, um, website. And I wanted to share with you the entire flow of creating a website. But in practice, I found out that this is super long and I don't really have time to do like so many uh, long tutorials. Um, and also because of the way that this website is built, it's the layout is kind of repeat itself uh, with reusable um, repeaters layout, sections layout. Um, so, so I thought well, maybe it's a waste of time. Um, so what I've done is that I build the, all the other pages, uh, on my own time. Um, and today I want to share this, uh, I want to share it with you. I want to share with you the template so you can download it and you can use it, uh, for your own needs. Um, but first I want to, to go over it, um, so you will understand how it's structured and and maybe some hidden stuff that uh, it's important for you to understand how it's built so you can modify them. So first of all, let's uh, go over the live site and then we will continue from there. Um, so I don't need to go back and talk about the um, the homepage because this is actually the tutorials that we've created. Uh, I will just mention that um, this pattern that you see across all the site is is um, applied using CSS, and this repeater it's the only place when when we have VeloCode. This is the FAQ, which is not the components, but we build it from scratch using repeater. Um, and it has some custom, um, custom animation and layout. So potentially you can design it the way you like. Just keep in mind that uh, you need to check that the value, value is still working, uh, but we will see it later. Uh, we have a couple of master section that is repeated uh, in uh, that is um, existing multiple pages. Um, the form is not looks exactly as the design because of some limitations. And also I didn't want to make things too complicated because after all, you will need to use this template and modify it. And if I'll create too many uh, customs things so it will make your life much complicated um, all right so all links are connected for example if I clicked on contact us it will take us to the contact page which is another this is I think the last page in the design um, yes it is this one and as you can see um, this uh, f this uh, contact us form is uh, exist also in the home page so and also this FAQ so I've created it as a master section and also this part so all these three are repeated in the in the website and I can see that I forgot to create this part and this part but all of these elements are exist in the website so already so you can see that we have similar layout here and we have these social icons also existing so it's you just need to reuse them um so this is the contact us page so let's jump to i i removed the home because i've added added too many uh, two more pages which i, I will talk about it so services page, um, as you can see, all these icons are just a place holders because it's a lot of time to upload all the icons, but anyway, you are going to change it. So it's not that important. Uh, so you can see the entire page is built again. This part is repeated. Um, and so let's go to our work. 
um, and you can see I didn't use the images that exist in, in the design but I've put uh, placeholders um, all of these links are refer right now as a placeholder to um, a pra uh, the designers who create this uh, uh, this beautiful design uh, you can check it check his figma uh, account it's unbelievable he's really really talented designers follow him uh, show him some support all right so then we can go to processes and here we have uh, a bit uh, uh, different design and from there we will jump to uh, the about page this part entirely created uh, from scratch it's not a single image it's an image with lines using CSS uh, this is the containers with uh, background gradient using CSS and this is an SVG um, again as you can see this is very similar layout to the um, to the processes uh, page career page also exists and this is a page that I've created for um, uh, for the website designer which is this talented guy again you can have here uh, short uh, links to its social um, so you can follow him and this is linked to the tutorial uh, to the playlist this playlist uh, which is cover how we build the uh, first part which is the home page um, of course everything is responsive is fully responsive um, I've tried to build it pixel perfect as possible um, and and in in a scale way as possible so for example if you change this value the the container that wrap this value will grow um, so I try to do it like uh, in most convenient way for you to update content um, yeah so I've thought to add some micro animation or scroll animation but then I thought well this is like um, it's like a taste you know it's like everyone likes something else so I keep it that way and then you can add your animation layer on top of it um, yeah so let's see uh, our code um, so I, I will start with the FAQ because because we have code but this section also is um, a master section which is uh, exists in more than one page so what I've done is uh, I created a public JavaScript file as you can see uh, public JS file sorry and then the code is placed here so all we need to do is to um, export import this function and everything should work because it's a master section so the IDs are stayed the same and everything stayed the same also this is something that I didn't show you uh, this line of code I didn't show you in the tutorial this is for accessibility Okay, this is means that once we are clicking on on a button, so screen reader can say that this item is expanded, and then it's you got the right context. Um, so this is the only part of code. So if you are going to um, add this FAQ in another section, what you need to do, you can you can go to the home page and just copy these lines so basically you are importing the uh, uh, the function from this file and then call it already and everything should work like very smooth um, the second one is this pattern okay which is behind this uh, hero stack the content stack you can find it here also I, I've tried to give meaningful names to my layers so you can understand the context if you change our uh, content 
my tip for you is update this uh, layers naming it's so useful um, all right so this is the decorative brand boxes pattern if you double click you can see that each time you can see you see this uh, uh, CSS or velo uh, as you can see right here this here in in the FAQ repeater you have combined of CSS and velo so it's just a hint that you should look for it okay or be aware when you delete something because it can affect the velo or the CSS um, so if we will take this as, a, as an example you will op we will open the property panels and then in CSS classes you can see that this element it's a container it has this brand boxes pattern and then if you will go to the CSS file you can search for this um, uh, class name it's right here and then you can get the context if you don't understand something my suggestion for you is copy this line paste it in chat gpt it will explain you exactly what this is doing and it can modify it for you um, so yeah um, okay let's see if we have more uh, cool stuff here so this is the the, the backdrop blur it's for this button um, <coughs> uh, testimonial profile image so it's i think it's in uh, work or about page let's see no i think it's in the about no um let's check I mean services is services no what's up I forgot where it's located oh it's right here it's in the home page sorry all right so these images have, have some filters so the filter is that no matter what image you will upload here um, it will get it, it will be black and white but not only black and white but also it has some um, so, sorry sorry only black and white um, and then but but then you will ask so from where this green is coming from right so behind this image there is overlay co color okay so I can if I change this color so the image will get different color right um, and and to the image itself you can see here in the preview it's uh with it's with color right but here it's it's black and white it also have the blend mode um so you can uh you can play around with it um so you can see this is in the about page you can see horizontal gradient line so we talked about it uh let's see on let's see it on the editor so if we we'll go to the about it's actually these lines okay so you can see it has it have this class so if you want to change its color you need to go to the css to change its color its color and also you can see that you it's mentioned right here that this component has some css um all right so here you can see all this code is re related to the faq uh, you can see the brand color from here so if you change the color so basically uh, it's the color of the hover the number and the X color okay so you can play around with this color um, and and that's it basically um, all right so another super important thing is that all site colors except the CSS is connected to the site team so for example you can uh, super easy change the entire experience of the website so if i'll change the color for example uh, to this red so you can see everything is updated so i can uh, in in a few clicks i can get a different look and feel uh for the entire website um, of course this is ugly but it's just to make a point 
so also here on the action color I can change it super super quickly and you can see that everything is changed of course these are an SVG so it's not ch changing but um, as you can see everything here is changed um, yeah so this is uh, um, easy for you to change the colors so what's what's next so I will what what I will do I will um, I will create a template from for, for, from this uh, website and I will share in the description link for you to download this temp template but please if you use this one and please let me know what you think in the comments it's super important for me and also let me know if this is something that you this concept if you like it uh, and maybe we will do some more interesting stuff um, to build a, a specific section to build another page if if the design is interesting you know um, so maybe we, we will, can do it again all right so that's it um, it was a long process uh, and until next time keep building amazing websites on Wix Studio